Hi guys, this is Melissa. I wanted to tell you about what this video is going to be about and then we'll get into the content. Um, I am going to share about my overview of who I am and why I got into the fitness journey and my decision to do a bikini competition for this year. I got a new posing suit from Toxic Angels that I want to show you as well and then show you a workout that I did. I actually recorded my very first workout of the comp the start of competition prep and that was back and tries I believe. So I hope you stay tuned to the very end and enjoy this video. Melissa Vallejos and I wanted to share with you who I am and why I decided to start a fitness journey and begin competition prep. I am 41 years old. I'll be turning 42 in July and I actually started my fitness journey before I turned 40. So I said that when I turn 40, I want to be a hot mama. <laughs> um, and I I am a working mother. I am actually a music teacher. I teach K-8 to music and I also teach band. And I have two children. You can probably hear them in the background. <laughs> um, I've got a four-year-old son named Gabriel and then a nine-year-old who's turning 10 years old in July. And her name is Isabella. She's my daughter. And I'm married to my high school sweetheart. We've been together for um, we were together for 13 years and then we finally got married and now we've been together for a long time, since 1997. Let's get that. And we're now at 2021, so do the math. <laughs> um, but funny story about that is that we actually were in fifth grade together. He was really mean to me and um, then I saw him my senior year and decided he's really cute. And um that was the end of that. <laughs> so I always tease my fifth graders or my 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 students, you know, don't tease that person because you might end up marrying them one day. And I'm like, I married mine. So, <laughs> um, but anyways, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about my fitness journey and how that had started. Um, I know with my first, uh, my first child, my daughter, um, I had gained a lot of weight with that pregnancy. And then I became a runner um, actually, I was a runner before that because I couldn't fit in my wedding dress. That's how it started, really. Um, 2009, um, and I started running half marathons to lose weight so I can fit in my wedding dress in that 2010 year when we got married. Um, so after she was born, then I got back into running um, in 2012, I believe. And I started doing half marathons again. And in 2014, I, I, so I told myself that I wanted to do... A full marathon. So that was the one and only year that I had ran 26.2 miles. It took me over six hours to finish and I definitely injured myself for that and it took a lot of time to train for that. I mean you're just out and about running for like hours and hours on end like three hours is like minimum and then I had to push myself to tr um, as I trained for six hours because I really wasn't a fast runner but eh. But I actually lost a ton of weight from from running, but I also lost a lot of muscle. And so I was sort of like that skinny fat kind of like body, but um, I was really proud of my accomplishments with that full marathon. But, you know, I quickly gained that weight back after I stopped training from that from that full marathon. So then um, after that, I got pregnant again with our second child. And I remember seeing a picture of myself that someone had tagged me in um, later on that next year. And I was still at my pregnancy weight. And I just could not get over the fact of how I looked, 
how I felt. Um, and it just, I, it, that right there really brought me to a, a super low um, in how I felt about myself and my self-esteem. And I kept saying, I was like, this is it. I need to make a change. And in 2018 was when I said, I need to do something. I felt like I needed help. So um, I didn't go looking for a coach right away. I actually stumbled across Paul Ravella on YouTube and I was kind of like just fascinated by his content. I mean, he's so knowledgeable and experienced and he was sharing all these things about macros and, and cardio and low intensity steady state. And then he started showing things about bikini competitions. And I went, what is that? That's kind of interesting. I mean, like you look at these women and they're just beautiful, but they're super strong and they're like, they're jacked. So I thought, I said, you know what? Let me go to Pro Physique with Paul Ravella and just kind of take a look at some of their coaches. And I absolutely love where I'm at right now. I am with coach Kaylee Obert from Pro Physique. She, she is one of Paul Ravella's um, clients and she took on some coaching services. And what I really appreciate about her is that she's also a mom and she understands what mom life is like and actually having to balance work and competing at the same time. So I love that we have that lifestyle in common. And I've been learning so much from Coach Kaylee in reference on to how to balance work, how to balance family and still focus on me as well. So, um, I have been finding some really, really great transformations with her and I have already, and I can't believe I actually did it, but I did tell her, Coach Haley, let's go. I am ready for a competition prep and so we are now in it. I actually just finished a full week of my first week of competition prep and I am now going into the second week. Um, so I'll catch you up in there with the videos in uh, on, my, on a weekly basis. Why am I doing the, the bikini competition? It's just something for me to see that what can I accomplish for me? Um, I, I'm really starting to see some really great progress as far as strength gains and fat loss and like muscle gains. And I, I want to see, can I do it? So I'm just really excited to see where I'm going to head. And I really uh, appreciate the fact that my family is on board with this. My husband is totally in support of me doing this. And so are my kids and the posing suit. So I had originally bought, and I absolutely love it by the way, um, the angel bikinis, uh, angel competition bikinis posing suit. It comes in this cute little bag and it's the pineapple. So, Get it. Isn't it cute? It's got pineapples and little palm leaves and it's got this cute little um, angel bikini um, logo gem thing and it's got a little sparkle. Who doesn't like sparkle? <laughs> um, and then I got the pro cut in the bikini bottoms <clears throat> right here. It's got the little scrunchy detail right in the center and then I love the gems as well. And it's got the adjustable um, strings on the side, so you can tighten it or loosen it wherever you need as you are losing weight or gaining weight, uh, whether if you're in a reverse or deficit. So I keep it in this little baggie. But I said to myself that if I finished the transformation challenge and I was happy with my result, then I would reward myself with a new posing suit. So I just literally got this in the mail. I haven't opened it yet and it's by Toxic Angels right here. And there is a team pro physique posing suit that they have. Now Angel Bikinis has one too and I absolutely love them, but I wanted to try Toxic Angels since they're both um, really, really well made. So I'm gonna open this up. I am seeing this for the very first time. You guys are gonna see it with me, so excited. And because I um, am a part of Team Pro Physique, I really wanted to um, start this competition as a member of that team and be proud of it. And um, 
So let's see. Okay, so let's look at it. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love it. Okay, I have to show you the bottoms first. Take a look at this. How sick is that? Hello, wet leather. <laughs> and it's got sort of like the sparkly detail. Look at that. Sort of like the sequin. And it's got the cute gem. I love it. And I love this here. It's got sort of like the elastic, uh, not elastic, but well, I mean, it's elastic, but um, adjustable straps right here. So instead of the tie, you would use this. And I also got the pro cut in the bottoms. So there's that scratchy detail in the center. This is so pretty, you guys, I love it. Okay, I'm excited to see the top because there should be a logo. <gasps> love it! Look at this. Team Pro Physique, y'all, it is official. And it's got the gems. Yeah, it's that, it has that sort of like wet leather kind of look with a sequin, shiny hologram. I don't know what that is, but check this out. I absolutely am in love with the gems in the Pro Physique logo. I absolutely love this. I can't believe, and this is, oh, now I'm getting excited <laughs> because when you order your bikini, it's this all of the gems like all over the top and even like the bottom sometimes but oh my gosh i'm so excited this is this is real like i'm really doing this i'm really doing this and um i did order you know with the the breast pads right there because this mama needs a lot of cushion a lot of padding because breastfeeding it's all gone. <laughs> so I need as much as I can get, but oh, I, yee, I can't wait. So in the first update photos, um, you'll see me in the, the pineapple posing suit. But from this point on, this is what I'm going to be posing in. So I am official guys. Oh, I love it. This is making me so happy. This is making it real. You, and this is only a posing suit. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I have my first posing session scheduled for Monday with Coach Kaylee. Um, and it's going to be, I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm excited because I actually am going to like talk to her, talk to her. She sends me video messages on my feedback, which I absolutely love because it feels very personal when she talks to me and only me. Um, but I, I'm excited to actually like meet her. So anyways, I think let's go ahead and get into the workout. I'm going to show you my very first day of my competition prep workout. And that was the biceps and tries. And um, I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm on a little night walk with my dog, Leo. Say hi, Leo. <laughs> He's um, a seven-year-old Great Pyrenees, and we just absolutely love him, but he definitely has to have his daily walks, and that's kind of where I get my cardio um, each day. I am doing five days of cardio at 20 minutes a session, so um, just low intensity, steady state, and uh, coach said that dog walks are totally fine at that point, and then when we need to ramp it up a little bit in intensity, then that's when I'll go on to my treadmill and pick up the speed and do a little bit of incline on there. Um, but for right now, she just kind of wanted to keep it as an easy variable um, to start off our prep, and so dog walks is what I do. I've got my little stick to keep me safe. Um, and I usually have a vest, <clears throat> a reflective vest, and I put one on Leo, but we all went out for a scoop of ice cream um, for dessert, and I got it to fit my macros. And um, so I don't have all of that with me right now. So, but yeah, usually I'm, I'm, uh, lit up with the reflective vest and we try to keep ourselves safe in that sense. But since I am walking, I wanted to talk a little bit about my physique update. So I'll be posting some pictures of my starting physique of when I first started the competition prep. So comparing my day 90 pictures of uh, the end of the transformation that I had just done, um, I did put on a little bit of body fat because we had increased my calories just a little bit. So the macros went up in carbs and fats by about 10%. Oh, it's not 10%. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? 10 grams. <laughs> that would be a lot. <laughs> so um, it did go up a little bit and, and that's okay because I need a little bit of body fat to help gain the muscle that I need to. So I am working on that. Um, let's see. I took my week one check-ins for the competition prep and I'll put those side by side so you can see where the day of where we started at for competition prep compared to week one. Um, let's see. My macros right now I have set at carbs are 170, fat is 55, and my protein is 120. Um, the protein has always been where uh, it's been, um, which is kind of nice because I get to eat. And a uh, coach actually adjusts it for me every week based off of the progress that I make. And then she also adjusts my cardio um, and each week if I need to increase or decrease, whatever it is that um, is necessary to make any progress with for the next week. Um, and then as far as workouts, I am working out five days a week. I've got two days of legs and then three upper body. And one of those is uh, working on the core. And I absolutely enjoy the workouts that Coach Kaylee gives me um, because they're fun. <laughs> For majority of times, they're fun. I think the one that has always been tough and my nemesis but yet again that love-hate relationship you're gonna hear me say that a lot about it but it's the hip thrust but I know they work and I've gotten a lot better at it um, because I did kind of feel a little tweak in the lower back at one point um, and it was not fun and I finally figured out how I think it should be done correctly and thank goodness to um, Brett Contreras uh, book the glute lab oh boy he's uh i gotta get the bag out in a little bit <laughs> so um but i absolutely am loving what the hip thrusts are doing for my booty gains so that's what we're working on is we need to grow the booty um yeah and i think my weight right now is at the the last check-in was one 17.8 I think it is I'll have to check and I'll correct myself on my video um, but yeah we're just kind of staying out of maintaining uh, maintaining the good weight um, I haven't really increased or decreased much but that's a good thing 
Uh, that means I'm making some progress in not increasing too much each week and we don't want that too much happening. But if it does, then it'll allow me to build more muscle. But we wanna try to do our best to keep the body fat down. So we're gonna work on that. Anyways, I gotta pick up what Leo left here real quick. I'll be right back. Hey guys, so as I was editing this video, I realized I did not make an outro video. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna do that right now. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for, again, joining me on my journey. Um, went through week one of my first competition prep. And um, we're going to begin week two. And I hope that you will enjoy my next video. I think I'm going to do something in the lines of uh, sharing what I have in my home gym and how I built um the collection that I have of equipment that uh, I'll be using to help me get ready for this competition prep. Uh, I am the last one to go to bed right now. I actually still have to get a workout in today. And, um, but I mean, when everyone's asleep, it's, uh, I can just focus on that. And it does make it a late night for me, but I will try to get it done as quickly and efficiently as I can and try to go to bed at a decent time. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.